Monkey King is another addition to the I have no idea how to market you club. Seriously, everyone was able to market new IPs decades ago and even new stuff now. How are we going backwards and forwards? However, this is also another film that suffers from, well, not being good at all. You're really just watching the film for its action. The only thing about the film I really wanted to talk about was Monkey King's character development since it just sucks ass so much. The thing about the story of Monkey King, the movie that is, is that it's just so confusing to the point I have no idea if they were following a story. Through the events of the opening and specific scenes in the movie, we're shown that Monkey King simply wants a family to be loved, with Buddha telling the gods to back off because he's meant for great things and he will find his own path, since he awoke alone from a rock and he didn't have a family. But the thing to understand is that they don't follow up with that key plot point. Amongst having other things like laser eyes they don't introduce ever again, and that the only other power he has is he can summon clones, which he learns because King Yama is able to do it. In the scenes where Monkey is shown love is from the opening when he's in hell talking about that he surely must have parents, when he was turned into a baby from a potion to which he would cling on to Lin, the other main character, like he did in the opening, during the end fight and amongst the other times where he was supposed to be a hero rather than an immortal, which ultimately by the end, Monkey King becomes a villain and Buddha stuffs in a rock for 500 years, which they only open up after demons are running amok, to which it looks like his development has sunk in that the events of the film paid off. Only they go back on it, and act as if the past hour of the film didn't happen. If you're going to focus a film how reckless a character is, and say multiple times he needs to change to follow his own path, you need to actually show that growth. If you were never going to have something like that, then just don't do it. For change to happen, you have to acknowledge his faults, acknowledge he needs to change, and then implement that change. If not, then that's not character development. So, let's use a recent example. Considering I've been watching Transformers Prime as of late, and actually finished this banger of a show, watch it instead. I'll show the character, Smokescreen. In Season 2, Smokescreen was a new ally for the Autobots since Wheeljack, who's an ally they can call upon, but isn't a part of the team since that's not his way. When Smokescreen was first introduced, he's already showing his first flaw, his abrasive and cocky side. While he helped the Autobots, he accidentally shot a blast into Energon, which conducts into an explosion he counters a plan all along. But one of the main characters, RC, points out it was an accidental shot he claimed wasn't planned. Meaning even though he's had training from Optimus Prime's former mentor, he's essentially a rookie in every way. The ways the Autobots implement themselves to blend into humans, to hang around the humans they know, to plan and to have level-headed thinking. And for him to stay in the present, and not think he's following some destiny that helped get him to where he was then. He's a character who's fundamentally flawed because he's wanting to live up to the legends without doing the little things that led up to those accomplishments. RC, you've made your point. Optimus, he needs to hear this. You might actually become a great warrior one day, and I sincerely hope that you do. But greatness begins and ends with putting the team first, not your personal scorecard. There's nothing I wouldn't do for you guys. Then stop trying to be a hero and start being an Autobot. But as the series progresses, those flaws and values are challenged multiple times. He's been yelled at, informed otherwise, and given chances to change from how he acts, and even shown his skills in being able to achieve incredible things, such as the face shifter Ratchet let him keep as he was good at using it. And I'm not sure if it was symbolism, but the face shifter isn't an offensive weapon. Despite how much he runs in guns, the face shifter is a smart weapon to use, whether they go through entire ships, rocks, or even Decepticons. Think fast, Chucklenut! And when he's left alone with a dying Optimus, he's given a choice to become a Prime, which is the highest rank an Autobot could ever get. However, despite early on wanting to become a well-known legend like Optimus and the Primes before him, he didn't want it. And it shows just how much he's changed since his first debut. Because that's what character development is, using themes and using them to develop the character. Especially since Monkey King, for 500 years, has nothing but a stick to call family. He doesn't admit or even acknowledge his faults, unlike something like Bojack or Blitz, where the collective faults are told to them or hinted at. This isn't one of those times where you could say it was a twist ending because 
that doesn't apply to the context of the film. So more or less, they should have had more of him trying to figure out that if he has parents and realizing he's had family all along. Amongst the other problems for Monkey King 2023, the character development gave me a headache to get my head around. It didn't help since I finished it at 2 a.m. Since how do you write a turning point for a character, but don't follow through with it? It just... <sighs> Anyways, spirit out.